Hey guys, Equinox, and this is going to be the Prot Warrior pre patch video. I'm just going to go over the talent builds and uh, some different changes they made to Warrior. So, yeah, let's hop right into it. We're going to go down the general side first. You start off with battle stance and defense stance. You get these auto. Um, I like to get intervene, rallying cry, and war machine. Um, this is just generate more rage. Uh, intervene is intervene if you ever need this. It's pretty good. You could swap this point and put it into impending victory if you'd like. If you don't need intervene or you feel it's useless, that's completely fine. No point, no shame in that. That's always a good choice. We get rallying cry. We get bigger rallying cry since uh, second wind is literally useless for front warrior. Spell reflect fast footwork. We do fast footwork so we can move right into frothing berserker, which is more revenge damage and a uh, chance to refund 50% of the rage spent. We get thunderclap, heroic leap, and furious blows. We get furious blows so it can branch or just for a branch talent. Um, we go down here, we get Stormbolt, is just really good CC and M+. Plus. Barbaric Training, 25% increased uh, revenge damage. Blood and Thunder, we're going to take Blood and Thunder because we go Ren in the Glass Tree. Uh, then we go Reduce Cooldown on Pummel and Shield Slam. Uh, pain and Gain, Reinforce Places, 20% Armor, is really good. Um, and then I'm going to do 2 points in Armor Teeth, 1 point in Avatar, 1 point to Unstoppable Force. And then I do one point in this, which gives you 5% leech. And then one point in that, which gives you another 5% stam. And uh, duration, fear duration reduction. You could also swap this out. And you could put one point into wild strikes. You could put one point into um, any of these talents, basically. Just kind of whatever you want. You could put a point into berserker rage. You could put a point into bounding stride. Um... Your most damage would either be Cruel Strikes or Wild Strikes, one of these two. Um, probably Wild Strikes is your most damage. Uh, but yeah, that's about it. Basically, uh, your biggest play style is going to be around Avatar. You could go for the opposite side of the tree and play Shockwave, or you could play Spear of Bastion if you'd like, or Thunder's Roar. Whichever one of these you prefer your play style to be, you can play them. Uh, I prefer Avatar because it's very core to the Warrior play style, in my opinion. It synergizes really well with Blood and Thunder and Rend. So that's what I'm going to play. Um, I'll have the different variations linked below. But yeah, that's the, that's it for the general tree. Going to the Prot Warrior tree, uh, ignore pain your your first, and then revenge, and then you get these three: Demo Shout, Devastator, Last Stand. You get all three of these, and then you get Strategist, Devastate, Thunderclap, and Revenge. And have actually thirty percent chance to remain and cool, reset the cooldown of Shield Slam. Best serve cold. This is just literally just more revenge damage, uh, and whenever you get a revenge proc, it deals twenty percent more damage. Uh, Nerving Focus increases your rage regeneration by 50% during last stand, so it's pretty good. Brutal Vitality, 30% of damage you deal adds to your active ignore pain. Pretty good, just free healing. Uh, Rend, this goes with Blood and Thunder, like I was saying. Uh, also, Blood and Thunder's functionality was changed. Whenever you Thunderclap, it just applies the Rend everywhere. You don't have to Rend then Thunderclap. It's just, you just don't, it'll literally Rend is just built into your kit now, like Deep Wounds. Challenging Shout, I just use this to branch into these. Uh, AoE Taunt, you know, nothing special. Uh, then we get Show of Force, Revenge deals 10% increased damage, and Revenge increases the damage of your next Thunderclap by 20%. This is key to the Unstoppable Force playstyle. If you're not going Unstoppable Force, don't worry about this talent point. Uh, Thunderlord, this is whenever you Thunderclap reduces Demo Shout cooldown by up to 3 seconds. So this is really good because we're going to be going Booming Voice later. Um, and then we're going to look at Shield Wall. Then we go over to Bolster. This is last name give Shield Block. This is like a really old talent, super strong. Uh, 60 per or 60 second less cooldown on last stand. Hard to pass up. Uh, spell Block and Tough as Nails, whichever one you want here, it doesn't matter. Uh, spell Block if there's a lot of spell damage. And uh, Tough as Nails if there's not. Simple as that. Uh, the spell damage, it needs to be a lot of spell damage that you're taking that is unkickable and that is not dot based. Some dots do get blocked by spell block. It's very, very few of them, but this is mostly for direct damage only, direct damage and AoEs. So make sure if you're taking this, you know that you're going to get value out of it on some packs. Like uh, Tazavesh, the very first area with the uh, batons, you'll want to take a spell block here because it's very good against those. Uh, Upper Kara, uh, Medivh, if, you, if you're taking the Arcane Bolts, stuff like that. Um, and then we move over to impenetrable wall. This is just a uh, this is just a bunch of shield wall uh, cooldown reduction. Really good. 
You can get Unbreakable Will if you want. This is uh, to help your party. Completely up to you. Anger management. This reduces the cooldown of your avatar and shield ball by one second every 10 rage spent. This is key to the uh, avatar playstyle. So you have to take this. And then we get Enduring Defense. Two second longer shield block. Super good. Synergizes with spell block. And it's just overall good uptime. It also synergizes with heavy repercussions. So we have a really long shield block. And we'll have a little way higher uptime because of it. Then we get Focus Vigor. This is 5% Strength and Armor and 1% Crit. Super good. This Strength and Armor is 5%. And then you get uh, more Armor because you go take Armor to the Teeth. So you're getting more Strength, which means more Armor from Armor to the Teeth. And you're getting more Armor because you're getting Reinforced Blades as well. And then we go into Shield Specialization. Increase your block chance by 12% and your block value by 30%. Super good. The block chance is kind of whatever, but the block value is very important. Um, and then we go into Booming Voice because we're taking uh, we're taking Thunderlord. And then we're going Ravager because Ravager is really strong damage. You can take the point out of Ravager and go Battle Scarred Veteran. Or you can take the point out of Ravager and go Shield Charge or Outburst or Indomitable. Whichever one you want. This point is flexible. I prefer Ravager because it's really good AoE damage, really good AoE uh, threat generation. And it's really good rage generation. Battle Scarred Veteran if you're very scared and you want a uh, Cheat Deaths type of type ability. And yeah, uh, that's about it. Um, this is your pre-patch build. Like I said, there will be flexibles in the uh, this tree. And if you're taking different things in this tree, you'll want to move away. If you're not taking Avatar and Unstoppable Force, you want to move away from um, play styles that like really affect that. So like Anger Management, you don't really need. You could put this somewhere else um, if you want to. And uh, stuff like that. But I think I, this is the best playstyle, in my opinion. Uh, I'm not I'm no warrior expert, but this is just how I feel and how I would play it personally. So yeah, um, but that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope this gave you a lot of information. Um, I'll have the builds linked down below. Make sure to like, subscribe. Uh, it really helps the channel out. Have a wonderful day. I love you guys. Peace.